Good morning, friends. It's Bob. We are on an Advent journey together throughout this entire or most of this month of December, and I'm ecstatic to be able to be with you. Thanks so much for being with me this morning. Yesterday, I talked about the title that's going to refer to Jesus, the Messiah, called Mighty God, that the Messiah would actually manifest and embody these characteristics of God as champion, God as the deliverer, God as the one who has come to our rescue. And I want to explore with you just a, a, for a moment this morning, this idea that in Jesus, God has communicated clearly, unequivocally that he is for us. And then I love the way that this is echoed in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Paul has just finished saying that the spirits inside of us groaning with groans too deep for words, that God has chosen us, he's predestined us, he's made us his own. And he says, what sh then shall we say in response to all these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? And then he, and then here's how he says, this is, this is the stakes it, that we are to God. That he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up freely for us all, will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? So Paul isn't saying here that nobody can be against us. He's saying that whatever is against us is of little consequence in comparison to God being for us. And I think that's the, that puts the, the issues where they need to be, that, that, that God being for us is so large. God is so large and in charge and he is for us. And, and I think it's important for us to personalize that. And I, so I want to ask you to say out loud, God is for me. God is for me. And if God is for me, who can be against me? It's a statement of your value to him. And that statement of your value to him is your anchor. It's the thing that holds you in the midst of the, the storm and the sea and everything else moving. It's the thing. So really the, the, the idea here is that, that who you are, your identity is built on whose you are. Who you are is built on whose you are. You are of inestimable value to God, and God is for you. And I want you to, to marinate in that today. God is for me. God is for me. Maybe you need to just say that if you're on the road, God is for me. Say that out loud to him. God is for me. Lord, you are for me. And this is somehow this glorious, impenetrable statement of my value and the solidness of my value. And God has actually proven his value to you quite apart from what you've done. Blah! Amazing. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to pick this up tomorrow. I love you. Merry Christmas and God bless you.